guys what's up let me get straight to the point and as you can see i will do this kind of backwards as i didn't plan to record this and i already removed everything to access the screen okay first i'm just going to show you how it works by default i'm sure all you owners out there know this very well so basically when you turn the car on or turn the ignition on oops the screen comes or folds out and then the system starts and when you shut the car or turn off the ignition which I will have to do now in two steps then the screen folds back to its place I'm not sure why maybe because I used to own BMWs but it really bothers me how every time it just folds out and folds back when you turn the car off so I decided to find a way to stop this and have the screen always out sorry guys it's a bit tricky I'm holding the unit with one hand and I'm recording with the other but basically when you have this screen unit out at the bottom you will see the connector for the motor uh, obviously the motor what makes it move and I'm not sure if you can see this little connector here it has a pin I will try to just come a bit closer it has a pin you have to push that in and then you can remove it and the trick is that you have to let the screen come out and then remove the connector that will remove the power from the motor so basically it won't be able to go back and that's it then you can just put everything back to its place and the screen will be out always so what I did here as I said I let the screen come out I have ignition on and now I just removed this connector right here that will stop the motor from pulling the screen back okay as I said going backwards here so once you reach to this stage you will have one screw there and one right there I'm gonna show you the screws as well these ones that will hold the screen unit so you will have to remove these two and then you can just freely take this whole thing out okay so the screws are back I'm not sure if you can see them yes you can now I can just put this part back in to its place and compared to other videos I didn't remove its connectors because I didn't want to completely take this off it was good for me just leaving it hanging here putting this back on is kind of simple you will just have to push in I won't be able to do that with one hand and then we'll have another two screws I will show you you just have to be careful here with this part because this is where these two connect and I'm not sure if you can see this but this one has a pin so you will have to remove this first and then you can pull this whole thing out so going backwards I will just have to kind of slide this underneath that so I'll have to like just pull this like this and then this should slide in under and then I can push this back okay guys I'm one step closer so I wanted to show you this is halfway back in and here now you can see perfectly how the, this other little part will have to go on top of this and here I am one step even further this is probably the best shot to show you how this works uh, I can't even, yeah there you go and here are the two remaining screws I was talking about so one will come here this holds this unit and the other one if I can find it sorry that will just go in here so obviously starting from the beginning first you will have to remove this plastic piece but which is just a, a pop off thing as you can see then you will have to remove these two screws 
you can remove this unit and then with those screws you can remove the screen itself all right guys so as the final result the screen is always out when I turn the ignition on it just comes on it never moves and when I turn the ignition off it just goes off I think it's beautiful <laughs>